From Food Network stars to celebrity restaurant chefs, food is becoming a phenomenon. Cooking has gone from being a necessity and a respectable hobby to an art form and a sought-after career. So much so that cooking schools have waiting lists to get in, and even more and more little ones are getting into the act. Kids love to cook. They want to learn. They think it's neat to be able to play in the kitchen, and they get to make a mess without getting in trouble for it. Um, it's also a very good skill, and I think it's important that every kid learns how to cook in order to be able to be self-sufficient as they get older. Teaching children their way around the kitchen boosts their self-esteem, creates family bonding time, and helps them learn about nutrition and healthy eating, and even things like science and math. When kids cook, they get to learn how to use their different math skills by learning how to measure, and they get to learn a little bit about science as far as foods changing as it cooks, um, going dissolving and mixing and changing colors and changing textures. It's, it's a good learning tool for them. But children also need to learn about the potential dangers in the kitchen, like how to properly use a knife, how to avoid being burned by hot stovetops and ovens, and one of the most potentially dangerous items in the kitchen, the garbage disposal. Garbage disposals are designed to pulverize food scraps, including nutshells and small bones, by using sharp blades spinning at approximately 2,000 RPM. It's no wonder there is a concern for safety, especially for children with small hands while operating a disposal. I was teaching children how to cook. I learned how to cook at a young age. And we were sitting there and we were teaching them how to do all the peelings and you know, for the potatoes and make a salad. And um, we put all, all the peelings into the, uh, and the eggshells into the sink. And I turned on the water and I turned on the disposal and these kids are watching me. They're watching my hand and I started shoving all the food down into the disposer. And when I saw them looking at my hand, it horrified me because their hands were small enough to go all the way right in. This incident prompted T.J. Dombrowski to shop for a garbage disposal accessory made for this purpose. He thought there had to be some safety device on the market. People typically use whatever is nearby to push items into a garbage disposal, usually a spoon or fork, sometimes even their fingers. The disposal have been out for 50 years. They should have something for safety. So I went to the store. I couldn't find anything. Then I went online and I looked and I still couldn't find anything. Well, it, it, there's still only the thing I could find was the replacement cap, and that's it. That was the birth of Disposit Guard. So what I first wanted to do was take from everyone's problems with their disposal. I wanted to create an all-in-one device, which I call Disposit Guard. And with that, I incorporated putting a T-handle on it so it's easy to handle. I made it to where you can make it into a stopper or a strainer. And then, of course, because of the children, I added on the plunger with the scraper on the end of it because now the plunger does all the work instead of someone's hands. Most people dread having to reach into the disposal to remove whatever may have fallen in. With the sink stopper and safety poker features of Disposit Guard, accidents can be avoided. Having this product is great. It protects my sink from having the spoons or the toys go down the drain. I don't have to worry about wondering whether or not my children have accidentally thrown something in the sink so I can run everything, but also I don't have to worry about when they're helping me cook because I know if they're peeling vegetables into the sink, they have that to use, they're not going to stick their hands in there, and it's, it's given me a great deal of peace of mind by, by having this. After coming up with the idea, TJ needed help getting from dream to design. i never done anything like this before. Uh, I've been in tool and die, but I never created any molds. Uh, so I asked around and found out who was really good at what they did, and that's what led me to Isometrics. Isometrics, Marcelo there is awesome. He sat me down, he went over what I was trying to create, and uh, the guy was amazing. He created the blueprints for the mold. Once the design was on paper, a prototype had to be made. The blueprints is everything. The 3D CAD. Uh, as soon as Marcelo created Disposit Guard, had it ready to go, he sent it right over to uh, Phoenix Tool and they started grinding them out. We were so comfortable with Phoenix and the other great thing was is not only do they make the molds, but they actually do the plastic injecting mold in there also. To get a product like Disposit Guard from concept to market takes many steps and it requires patience, perseverance, time, money and dedication from everyone involved. 
throughout this whole process with family and friends and investors, once they saw the product and what it did, they were behind it 100%. It was great. I thought it was a great idea to get uh, involved in a brand new company. And I really liked the I idea because we didn't even actually have a prototype at that point. Um, I just thought that being a safety device and what it could possibly do being a drain stopper, scraper all in one, one was a great product. Small orders of Disposit Guard are assembled and shipped right from TJ's basement. Larger orders are produced at Phoenix Tool and shipped from there. Because it's a safety device, I believe Disposit Guard should be everywhere. Uh, and all the box stores, and in fact the manufacturers of disposals should incorporate it with their product when you buy it. Disposit Guard is stopper, strainer, safety poker, and scraper all in one. Safety and convenience made simple. That's Disposit Guard. For more information on Disposit Guard or to place an order, visit disposalguard.com.